Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. As you can see, we're going to be going to a wedding today. Alhamdulillah, lots of young people getting married at the moment. And this is a serious subject that I want to speak to young people about, but actually, much more importantly, to the parents of young people. I met a very good brother that I know this week. The brother is from the Indian subcontinent. His whole family are from the Indian subcontinent. And he introduced me to the young man that his daughter is going to marry. And this young man was a black young man. And I was so happy. I was so pleased to see people breaking out of these social constrictions about who we marry and the color. And then I thought, why? Why is this still an issue in our community in the 21st century? We talk about not being racist. And yet we are still concerned with the color of the skin, of the nationality of the people that come to marry our sons and our daughters. This is not Islam. This is not Islam. We should be concerned with the character, with the uprightness, with the religion, with the honesty, with the integrity, with the manners of the people who come to marry our sons and daughters, not with the color of their skin. Whilst we restrict ourselves to these jahil attitudes, jahili, ignorant, baseless, not from Islam, the Prophet Muhammad cursed these people who call to the times of jahili. And you think it's bad now? You think that it's different because we're Pakistani or we're Bengali or we're Somali or we're whatever race we're from? At the time of the Prophet Muhammad Sassam, their tribalism was on a next level. Next level to anything we've ever known. They would kill each other over their tribal issues. Brothers and sisters, our young people are desperate to keep things halal. They're desperate to get married. And what do we do? We just put barrier after barrier after barrier in their way. And what do they do? They go to the haram. And who can blame them? Who can blame them? If we make marriage difficult for young people, then expect the haram to come and knock at your door. So my brothers and sisters, especially the parents amongst us, look at the character. Don't worry about how much money they have. Don't worry about their class. Don't worry about their skin color. Look at the character. Are they kind? Are they on their deen? Are they respectful? Do they have good manners? Do they appear to have good character? Then yalla, inshallah, let our young people marry. And may Allah bless our young people with the best of marriages. And may Allah rid us, rid us of this jahil, this ignorance that we have within our communities. Indeed, Islam was sent to free us from that. And may we be free from it. Ameen.